Hello there, uh, this video today is to help traders that aren't familiar with what a CBOT is. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is explain exactly what a C Trader CBOT is um, and how to use it. And, how, and when you download it from our website, how to actually run it. Okay, so we're going to show you how to install and run a CBOT and explain exactly what it is. Um, so if you come to clickalgo.com under the C Trader menu, uh, if you click on um, C Trader User Manual, this will open up this page. Now this page actually has inf more information about the platform, but it also explains about um, what a CBOT is. Because we found that the help and support documentation on the internet doesn't actually tell you in more detail what a CTrader CBOT is. Um, but from this page you can download the CTrader user manual. It's a PDF document. It was created by FX Pro. Um, but you'll be able to download it and print it out and it tells you exactly how to use the platform for manual trading. Okay? It doesn't tell you about automated trading. Um, there's also a link here, you can see the Visits Help and Support page. Now this is Spotware's Help and Support page. That gives you more information again about using the platform. It has videos. So this gives you really some really good information to help you use the C-Trader trading platform for manual trading. Okay, So we've created this little section here about um, C-Trader C-Bots or automated robots. Okay, I, um, Most people um, feel that an automated trading robot is called an EA or an expert advisor. Now this is only specific to the MetaTrader trading platform. Okay, So MetaTrader or MT4 started calling them expert advisors or EAs. This isn't an in industry standard term, term, it's just used by that platform alone. Okay, uh, The correct way of saying it is an automated trading system pretty much. So um, we use the word CBOT because C traders started using the word CBOT. So everything to do with automated trading systems um, on C Trader, we refer to it as a CBOT. Um, so there's two different types of CBOTs. Okay. So we have developed um, applications that enhance the C Trader trading platform. Now these applications can be anything from a mini trading terminal to an alert system um, to different types of widgets and, and things that add on to the chart. So I'll just click on this page here. So this, was, this is also a CBOT, but it's a CBOT, uh, what we call an add-on. So it adds on to the existing trading platform to give extra features. So as you can see here, all these little widgets or applications will run from a CBOT. You can see the, on the bottom left-hand corner there, they will run from a CBOT and they will run as an add-on or extended user interface. Okay. Another term that can be used, um, or, or another type of CBOT, is something like an automated trading robot. Now, an automated trading robot, if I click on this link here, if I go down to the Automate tab, uh, one of our automated trading robots is the Switchback Forex. Now, this doesn't open up any user interface or add-on screen or panel on the screen. It's just an automated trading robot that... Um, is specifically what most people call an EA in MT4 or what CTrader call a CBOT. This is the standard typical CBOT where you click the start button and it will trade for you or print stuff on, on the chart. Okay, So there's two different types. There's this one and the um, user interfaces that we showed you before. Now what we're going to show, uh, what we're going to do is actually explain to you how to launch these CBOTs. So if you've downloaded from us one of our automated trading systems, then you really want to run it from the Automate tab. So you click on the Automate tab, as I showed you there, and you'll, then you open up an instance. I'll just remove this and show you it again. So if you'll see your CBOTs listed down on the left-hand side here. You click the down arrow, Add Instance, and it will add a, a robot instance. You can have many of these and change, and each one you can have a different currency symbol. Okay. So to start it, you just press the Start button and it will start the robot. Now it's better to run your automated trading systems from the Automate tab because you can see the parameters listed out here very clearly and you can make changes and run your robot. Um, so you can still do charting, manual charting, but this tab, the Automate, is dedicated for automated trading robots. Now for manual trading, you click on the trade icon up here and that will take you to the manual trading. Okay. Now you can run automated trading robots from here, but I don't, I don't really advise it. But what we do uh, recommend is to load your add-ons or extended user interfaces, what I'm going to show you in a minute, okay? So that you've got, um, you know, 
you can do your charting, manual charting, as well as use our, our software. Now to run a robot from here, or a CBOT, on the left hand side you've got this um, panel. You click on the one there that's got the little robot head. Now this is your CBOTs. So this is the list of all the CBOTs that I've got installed on this machine, okay? So I'm going to scroll down to, um, let me find one, bear with me a second. I've got to find it now. Risk and Reward Tool, it's something we're working on at the moment. So if you just click on this button here, Risk and Reward Tool, okay, you can ignore the parameters there, you can just click Apply or, or whatever. Now down here is your uh, robot that you're going to run. If you want to take it away from here, you just click the X icon there and it will remove that instance. Um, so now it's on the chart, you could be manual, manual trading. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the time frame to five minutes and I'm going to click the Start button. Okay, now that's, this is one of our add-ons. So with our add-ons, you'll see a little screen like this. It'll just check the license. It comes up with a little widget like this on the screen that you can drag around anywhere. Now I'm going to open up um, a risk reward for long. So on here, straight away, you can see it's um, a little widget that's on the screen, um, your manual trading, and this will allow you to, um, it, it takes the last swing high and low, and this will allow you to open positions and adjust the values and look at the risk and reward, how much profit you're going to make, how much loss you're going to make, what your position, it actually auto calculates your position size. This is a separate uh, video we're going to do for this product that we're, we're currently developing. So this is uh, another type of CBOT that you can launch from CTrader, uh, from the manual chart or from the, the main charting page. Okay. So you, as you can see, you don't want to run this from the automate page. Now to stop that, you just click there to stop the, the robot. To remove the robot instance, you just click the button there. Okay. If I was to open up um, something like the Switchback Forex, then when you run this application, you can see your parameters are all listed out like this, which isn't very good for modifying your parameters. So in a nutshell, I wouldn't run your automated trading systems um, from the charting page. I would use the Automate tab. Now, it's very simple if you want to delete um, one of the uh, C bots that you've downloaded. So if you want to delete it, it's very easy. All you do is you go to the C bot, you click on there, and you select delete. Okay, and that's it. And that will delete it from your system. So it doesn't actually install it onto your operating system. So that I hope will help you help clarify a few things about um, what is a C bot and how to use um, our C bots that we've got on our on our website. You know that we can download and install from trading software to uh, automated trading robots. Okay. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you do like this video, please leave a thumbs up at the bottom of the page. Um, and if you have any comments, put some comments at the bottom. If you need to contact us, just come to clickalgo.com, click on the contact uh, button there, and you can send us a message here. Okay, we're, we're here to help you if you need any, if you have any questions. Thank you.